For most students, it's now a literary rite of passage, reading Lois Lowry's 1993 book, The Giver. It tells the story of a utopian society made idealistic by the fact that there is no conflict, no overriding emotion, no euphoria, and there's no memory of history's horrors. The book is now a film starring Meryl Streep and Jeff Bridges, opening Friday. WGBH arts editor Jared Bowen recently spoke with Lowry. And then you've already seen the movie. I have. Did you like it? I have. I really like this film, actually. And and I'm just aged enough that this yeah. was not part of my oh. childhood to read this book in school. But it's a really fascinating story about this concept of you have a utopian society by making everybody not aware of, as mm. you just mentioned, history's horrors and what came before. So you have a society that basically only exists in the moment and lives and everything is copacetic mm. and, and peaceful. Uh, and we have a, a clip here where there is one person who's designated to receive memories from the oh. giver to understand what has happened in lifetime pass and mm. the giver here is played by Jeff Bridges. Red, green, blue, many different colors, but our people, they chose to do away with all of them. They created sameness. If we were different, we could be envious, angry, consumed with hatred. We need sameness, don't you think? Oh, I completely agree. <laughs> But obviously it doesn't work. <laughs> it, it doesn't work. So the, the great story behind the story here is that Lois Lowry, who is the author, yeah. is actually a local person. Uh, she lives in both Cambridge and Maine. But she conceived this story when she was living on Beacon Hill. And I had mm. the opportunity to speak with her recently. And I asked her about basically what triggered such mm. a concept, which is so wild and, is. and crazy. But she said it was really looking out her Beacon Hill window mm. and, and really conceiving everything that troubled her at that time. I got rid of them one by one, ticked them off the list. There's no poverty, there's no crime, there's no divorce, there's no alcohol, there are no drugs, there are no cars. Uh, and so I made it gradually into the most peaceful, content, comfortable kind of world. Apparently it was no fun either. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's what I love about this story. There, there are so many dystopic mm. young adult uh, mm trilogies out there mm -hmm. now that, that have made their way to the screen, but she was really the first person to do this, and this is a, a, a really a cultural touchstone for any young person. And what I find really fascinating is, is this concept of what people don't know doesn't hurt them until, of course, it mm -hmm. all starts to fall apart. And one, one thing that also really interests me about this piece is the way that this uh, totalitarian regime is constructed, which is through benevolence, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, this was conceived by Jeff Bridges, who mm -hmm. got the the rights to her novel. Uh, so he's held this close to his heart until he realized that he could make this film. And, and he brought on Meryl Streep, a, a, a brought aboard Meryl Streep as well. She, play? she plays the chief elder. So here you have somebody who's, who's not uh, uh, controlling society with brutality as we see in the news so mm. often, but through benevolence. And this is something that Lois Lowry talked about as well as mm. is her very interesting concept here. The World of the Giver is a book where literature has been lost. There are no books until the boy encounters them in this room that he enters. And censorship takes place in this country, and it has affected me from time to time. And it's always brought on by people whose goal is, is benevolent. They want to protect their children. So it's very interesting, this twist of fate here, that she's seen her own book pulled out of schools, but she oh. understands where they've come from. Wow, oh, that's right. They have been pulling that thing out. It's ridiculous. That's a whole other story. <laughs> All right, Jared Bowen, thanks a lot.